Welcome to PixEdit.com tutorial for advanced use of PixEdit. In the first part of this PixEdit video course, we focused upon typical office use such as page manipulation, scanning, and configuration of document processing. In the next videos, we will look at advanced use of PixEdit. If you are working in a scanning service bureau or simply want to learn more about possibilities in PixEdit, we are convinced that you will enjoy the following videos. We recommended you view the first part of this video course in the same order as shown by the video player. The videos in this part, however, may be watched in any order you like. You can safely jump over parts that are outside your area of interest. Here is a summary of these advanced use of PixEdit tutorials. Navigation history takes a look at how to open the last recently used documents. Insertion and editing of bookmarks will be explained here. Using the Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, function. How to create various barcode separation sheets and stickers. What is the difference between PDFA Raster and PDFA Compact? How to automatically generate web pages and send documents by email directly from PixEdit. We will look at a few interesting functions for image processing and quality enhancements such as ACRO is an acronym for Automatic Color and Resolution Optimization, Background Color Removal, Color Depth Adjustments, Manual Change of Page Size and Resolution including How to Force Resolution, Manual and Automatic Contrast Maximization, Color Balancing, Filters for Sharpening, Blurring, Noise Removal, and Other Options, as well as Dock Wash, our manual cleanup of badly faded or dark originals. Further, we will show you the Batch Wizard, a tool for mass processing of large folder structures, extracting data from scanned forms such as customer surveys and user polls, building and using a figure library, obtaining accurate digitizing during drawing and construction, punching in exact values and coordinates in the tool style window, how to snap digitize points to an exact repeating grid or line pattern, and using the length and area calculator. Towards the end of this advanced session, we will also look at how to convert a scanned document so you can work with it in AutoCAD or other CAD systems. We'll show you how to correct both scale and skew problems in a scanned map and how to create large seamless maps by joining smaller maps into larger ones. We round off with information about PixEdit programming possibilities using COM or DDE and how to live view technical details in the log window for diagnostic purposes. Naturally, PixEdit can do much more than presented in this rough overview. Just like you don't need all the functions in a modern text editor, you will probably not need all the functionality offered by PixEdit either. However, if you are looking for special functions you normally don't use during daily document production, there is a good chance you will find it in PixEdit. As mentioned earlier, you may not have interest in watching all the following videos. If you wish to skip a video, simply click the forward button in the video player or the X in the upper right corner to go back to the video list. 